This question or comment comes to us from Marcus Hughes in Great Britain. And basically his question is this, he says, you know, the more I get here and the more I work on pushing away with my left leg to push my left hip out of the way, the more twisty my shoulders get. Well, yeah, that can certainly happen if by chance, if you do this, if you go back and you get here and you haven't made a transition, so your right leg hasn't worked correctly to push you up here. And so if you start pushing early, so if I go right to here and I was just sitting on this foot and I do this and from there I push my left leg out of the way, see that that's going to twist my shoulders. So there has to be a little bit of lateral motion or force so that your right hip doesn't move out. Okay, now let's talk about that. I'm going to take this shoe off. This shoe, this spike, that one right there, probably the most important spike in your backswing and downswing in golf, that spike right there. Why? Because when I go back, when I start, my weight's pretty even in my feet and it's even through these spikes. When I start back, as soon as I start back, my force goes right into that spike. I get to the top, when I change directions, that spike gets pushed into the ground even harder and it feels like I'm pushing and twisting that spike into the ground. That's what keeps my right hip back. I'm going to put my shoe back on here. I won't tie it because it takes too much time. But so now I'm sitting there and I'm feeling that spike. I'm balanced in my feet, but as soon as I go right here, boom, force moves right into that spike so much that my little toe on this foot starts to feel like it lifts a little bit. So I go right into that spike and then when I change directions, I feel like I push that spike even harder into the ground and twist it down into the ground, which makes my foot roll in, which is what Nicholas did his whole career. If that foot does that, so if I go into that spike and then push into that spike and rotate into that spike, I move laterally, but my right hip doesn't move out. So then my shoulders can come down and then I can push away with my left leg. So there's a sequence of forces. And if you get here and you don't get started down and the club started down and you twist right out of the top, there's where the problem becomes. So what I want you to do, you can do the same thing with your left, but you go into that spike. Then when you change directions, push the spike and rotate it, then push your left leg away. Because that's what I feel. I feel myself go into that spike, push and rotate, and then my left leg pushes. So then the forces match and it gets my body in the right position so the circle and my shoulders work the way they're supposed to work relative to my arms. That spike, we're going to talk more and more about that pressure point throughout this website because how you pressure the ground and knowing what you're doing there is critical because your body reacts to those forces. Be sure to subscribe to my channel for regular updates and tips. Thanks for watching.